Hey guys, Jennifer here with Edible Sugar Art. Today we're going to be cleaning our edible print head on our edible printer. This is a Canon Pixma IX6820. The process is the same with this Canon printer as well as other Canon printers that have a similar print head. Follow the same steps in this tutorial for your other Canon models as well. You're just going to open up your cover to your printer. Wait a moment and the print head will slide over with the ink cartridges. We're going to remove the ink cartridges and place them back in the orange covers that came with them. This will keep them from leaking and also allow us to refill them before we place them back in without making a mess. Once you have all your ink cartridges taken out, we're going to go ahead and lift up the gray bar on the print head cover to remove the print head itself. You can see the print head down inside there, and here we're lifting up the bar. It's nice and easy to be able to get this out if you lift it correctly. Grabbing the middle section, just pull up on it, and it slides right out. You can see this middle bar is a little longer than the rest, and it's very easy to drop back in as well when holding it by that center bar. Once you get your print head out, we're going to take it to the sink and begin to run it under warm to hot water. We're going to remove all the little rubber seals, rinsing them off and getting the ink off of those as well. Place them in a small container so that you don't lose them. I like to add a little bit of water to this container and let them soak for a few minutes as well. Now I'll just spend a couple minutes running the print head under some warm water to get rid of the excess ink. When the water starts running clear, or after it has soaked for a while in hot water, many people assume that the clogs have cleared the print head, but this is not always the case. Oftentimes, when the water runs clear or after the print head has soaked for a while, many believe the clog has cleared from the print head, but this is often not the case. We're going to use the syringe from icing images to forcefully push water through the print head through each color filter and clear out any remaining clogs. As you push the water through, you should see an excess amount of ink that is remaining in the filter come through the other side. As you can see, there are many holes that the water comes out of for each color. You want each of these to flow freely and clear before moving on to the next color. Here you can see how much water is coming out of the stream on the other side of the filter. I continue to rinse and then refill the syringe and push more water through until it is completely clear. When you move on to the remaining colors, you will notice their filter is smaller than the initial black one we cleared. Icing Images does make a syringe that fits perfectly on these filters. However, I have lost mine and we are going to just continue to hold the large syringe tip on these smaller filters and push water through. I use my hands to hold the syringe and the print head while using the sink to push down on the syringe itself, forcing water up through the opposite end of the print head. I just repeat the process of rinsing and using the syringe to clear the water. When I press up here, you can see that the dye comes out, but the water is not squirting out as forcefully as we would like it. In a minute, you're going to see what it should look like when the water is freely flowing through the print head. Here's a great example of when the clog breaks free and the water runs clear when being pushed through the print head. Now you can see how many lines of water are shooting out through the print head on the back. This is what you want to see on each color. Keep rinsing and using your syringe until you see water flowing freely through each color filter on the print head. If you do not see water coming through like this on the back, 
you still have a clog in your print head. Again, I'm using my sink so that I can forcefully press down on the bottom of the syringe while holding the top of the syringe and print head in my hands. We are back at the printer. I have just used a towel to dry off the print head and the seals. I shake any extra water out of the print head for a couple of minutes and immediately start putting the seals back on the print head. I do not let it sit or air dry for a couple of hours. I start using it right away. You can use a pair of tweezers to help you get the seals into the tight little corners and securely back in place. Be careful if you do have a pair of sharp tweezers not to puncture the mesh on top of the print head filters. To place your print head back in, just make sure your bar is still lifted. Tilt the print head towards you and it'll drop right back into place. Here I'll show you if I have it tilted wrong, trying to point it back towards the printer. It does not go in, but as soon as I tilt it again towards me, slides right down into these two little slots and just falls gently back into place. Here we're going to quickly refill our ink cartridges before placing them back in the printer. I did miss a step which we'll go back and fix later, but this bar needs to be down before you put your cartridges back into the printer. And we'll just quickly fill each cartridge, taking out the little rubber stopper while it's still in its orange casing, filling it up with new ink, putting the stopper back in, and then sliding it back in its spot. Again, the bar that you see going across them should be down before putting them back in, but you'll see me fix this in just a moment. And here I go to close the bar, but it won't go down with the ink cartridges in. So we're going to take these back out, put them back in the orange holders that come with them, put the bar down, and then we will reclose it. With the ink cartridges out of the way, we can now close that gray bar and reinsert our ink cartridges the correct way. Once they're in correctly, all your lights should be on and ready to go. I'm going to use a plain sheet of paper to run a test print through and get the colors flowing back through the print head and make sure all my clogs are clear before I move on to my edible paper. I can see here that my colors are coming out nicely and cleaning the print head has worked. So now I'm going to get ready to use my edible paper and we'll run that through with a print. I'll also show you what the print looked like before that let me know I had a clog in my printer and that it wasn't working correctly, and we'll compare the two. Now this picture here is one I had previously printed. You can see the top picture where I realized the print head was clogged. Probably the magenta was the one that was the most clogged and you can tell by the picture, but when you reprint it, it comes out with a nice bright color. Here's another one that was missing the magenta before I noticed it. You can see the lines on the old print as well as the missing color. If you're getting lines or you're missing color, you need to go ahead and remove your print head and do a good thorough cleaning of it. Again, one of the problems I see the most is people let it soak in water or they run it through water even for an hour, but they're not using the syringe to push the clogs through the filter. You have got to use the syringe and you have got to see that water flowing freely through the other side of the print head where the ink comes out before you know the clog is removed. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks again for watching Edible Sugar Art.